Coquilino County is unique because we're the second largest county in terms of land mass within the 48 contiguous states. We have a very diverse community and we've got many gorgeous natural wonders such as the Grand Canyon. We literally have millions of visitors every year, so public health is at the forefront of everything that we do. Public health impacts all of us. Even if you may never walk into the doors of our health departments, you always receive public health services, and this impacts our daily lives. Today we're having a food demonstration with some spaghetti squash, because it's important to promote healthy options for our families, to increase their fruits and vegetable intake, and just to give them new ideas for recipes that they might not try on their own. <laughs> he says it's good. You know, programs, that's the Women's, Infants, and Children's program, that provides supplemental nutrition to both pregnant moms and to children ages 0 to 5. And it's not meant to sustain all of the meals, of course, but it is just, it is exactly that, a supplemental program. And so we offer healthy, nutritious foods, but the more important piece of that is we offer education that goes along with that. What I like best about the WIC program is they're really involved in different aspects of me raising my kids, like what I feed them, knowing what milestones we need to look for, how to raise, how to educate our children. So the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Program, in addition to providing the education and awareness about sexual behaviors and sexual negotiation and safe activity, it's also helping influence those factors that often happen the adverse consequences of having a teen pregnancy. So if we can avoid those things, then students really learn about the social consequences, cultural and economic um, consequences that really can build from a, over the lifetime of having a teen pregnancy. Walk to School Day is a really fun event. Countries around the world participate and all kids walk to school together on the same day. We're celebrating walking to school and being active and trying to teach parents that it's okay for kids to walk to school. They don't need to be driven all the time. When the kids arrive, there's usually bananas, healthy food, no donuts, hot chocolate. We have mascots, we have a, like a giant tooth. We tie in uh, nutrition and health with this. So there's balloons along the way, there's cars honking. It's almost like a little carnival that we have going on. Over the past few years, the role of public health emergency preparedness has increased. And this is due to the social crossover that occurs with any public health emergency. Rather, there's illness, outbreak, it flu. Often in the news lately, we've heard about Zika, not too long ago it was measles, um, Ebola. So public health emergency obviously plays a role in those things as we get many first responders and community groups together to be able to respond to that. Um, but natural disasters as well, whether it's wildfire, or earthquake, public health uh, plays roles in those. And there's really not any type of disaster that public health doesn't play a role in that. It can be linking community members to services. It can be helping guide um, true first responders, such as police and and to assist them in working with individuals. It can be a variety of things. This work is important because it impacts the health of all community members, visitors, anybody in a community area. It's pretty unique to Coconino County, but we also provide the medical examiner services. And so with that whole lifespan model in Cradle to Grave, it really does fit within the scope of public health. The work that we do within the medical examiner's office, of course, is meant for the specific individual and family, and we take pride in the care that we have for our decedents. But the data that we gather from that really informs public health, public health policy, and the activities that we do. Public health is a place that you can see that you're making a difference daily. If you like policy, if you like regulation, if you like educating, if you like working with kids all day, Public health really touches upon many social and health activities. But it's a good day in public health when we know that we can make a difference in the lives of our community members.